Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Mike Toledo and I got a new uh, Shane Jack's jackhammer. I'm going to do the unboxing. Let's see what it looks like. It looks like Christmas came early for me today. Uh, let's see here. Now my daughter's filming. Come in here, party. Give me a, give me some, get the action to the inside of the box. Let's see what we got. Ready? Oh, snap -a Lola! Check that out. Looks pretty nice. It's longer. It's got drilled holes in the side, in the middle of it, which gives it some pretty nice. Uh, I, I would say it. I would. I'm not, not sure if he told me or not, but I would assume that it's making it, it balances it better. It, it feels really good. Uh, trying to pull that cap off that tip. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. Oh yeah. So it's it's like his other tip that he has, and um, I liked his his shorter one. And I I was asking him a while ago if he has a longer one that he's gonna come out with, and he was pretty hush about it. He didn't say anything about it. But then later on, he's gave me a little bit of an insight what he was doing, and this this is what he came out with. I think you guys are gonna be really pleased with this one because this is exactly what us other techs wanted a little bit longer. So here is the Shane Jacks blending hammer. Uh, I think it's I think it's about 18 inches long. I'm not not quite sure. Maybe 24. So I'll have to put, take a measurement with that and uh, I'll put it on the display. But that's the unboxing of the Shane Jacks jackhammer uh, blending hammer. So that's pretty cool. Now this won't be a crazy long review, but a quick overall first impression. Now the new lengthier jackhammer compared to the shorter version is definitely different. It's 17 and a half inches long and it has the same type of feel but with more form to the edges on the shaft. Now when I was using the shorter jackhammer it's something I was definitely wondering if Shane was considering making an extended version. So without a doubt he came out with a longer version for those broader taps that are needed from a further distance. It comes standard like its previous smaller generation with a Dentcraft metal polished tip on one end and a plastic sharp tip on the other. I find these tips great but love the option I can interchange to my liking with other tips. More on that and later in a full review. Now for now, I think you'll be very happy with the new longer jackhammer. The shaft also has slotted holes to maintain the balanced feel like the shorter version. You also notice the head is also machined as well. Overall, my first impressions is that it feels great. It's light, great length, and looks well made. However, I'm still going to add a paracord to my handle for the non-slip grip like my last shorter version. Now you can purchase your jackhammer at BlendingHammerPDR.com. I'm Mike Toledo for Dent Time and Dent Trainer, and so long. Thanks for watching.